Okay, so today we're going to create a text in letterbox effect in a couple of different size sequences so you can see how this works. All right, so right now we've got a couple of images that I'm going to just use as the, the, the picture in the, in the sequence, and we're going to add some letterboxing and text in the letterboxing to that. Uh, so let's go to sequ uh, sorry, file new sequence and uh, uh, here this one this 1080p will work just fine. Okay so now let's put these pictures in the sequence put one on each track uh, just for fun let's just make them longer. What the heck. Okay now um, let's line these up so they're usable. Uh, do that in the effects controls. I'm going to scale him up a bit. Okay. And then we know, I know that I'm going to have to uh, bring him down and over. Um, yeah, that, that'll probably work about right. And then, uh, see, let's also, um, Let's also crop that. I just a simple crop the factor. Uh, drag and drop that on there. This is just setting this up for you, so you can see how this looks. Um, let's see. This is not. I'm not going to do this uh, uh, very exactly. Just close enough. Okay. Now let's get this young lady in here. Uh, just drag. We can drag her around like this. Now that looks pretty close, and we don't really need to do anything else to that right now. Okay, now we can go about the creating the letterbox effect and all that. We're going to do that in Essential Graphics. Let me show you how that works. Um, we are going to create. Uh, first thing, the easiest way for me to do this is just to create uh, some text first. And then we'll kind of work around that. Uh, so let's say this is some text. All right. And we're going to just leave that like that for a minute. Now we're going to uh, go to new layer, create a rectangle. I'm going to drag this up here to the corner, stretch it across, bring it, bring it down a little bit. Um, and we're also going to take it and drag it to the bottom here so the text is on top of it. And now we are going to change the color of it to black. And we're going to take the text. Stand by. We're going to take the text. And if just just dragging dragging this out will make will make it bigger. Um, and you want to change the font. Do whatever you want to do to that. Um, you know, we can go down here, change the font to something more hip and cool. Uh, let's see. Um, doo -doo -doo. Here, we like this. And let's bring it down. There we go. And we can just duplicate this and, and put it on the bottom and change the text, basically. Um, Let's see if we, <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, I wanted to duplicate it, but that's not, here we go, duplicate. Okay, and now we can just drag it, hit shift. I think it'll keep it centered now. Okay, I was gonna see if it would do it to drag it down. Oh yeah, it does, okay. So now we're just gonna drag this down and also gonna hit duplicate on this and drag this down, hit, oh, da, da, da. I'm just hitting the, I'm holding the, the shift key to keep, okay, so basically you've got what you want now. This is, this is what you're asking for. Um, you can bump these pictures around and make them uh, so their heads aren't getting cut off, right? And I'm, I'm assuming that you're, that you're using video for this, but we just made what you were asking for, pretty much. Now you also had an you showed me an example of a like a 
more of a four by three type thing. Well, you do the same thing. You just have to create a different kind of sequence, a file, new sequence. Let's say we're going for something square. Um, I'm going to go over here to, uh, well, you know what? I'll just pick anything. We'll pick anything. It doesn't matter. Uh, now we're going to go to sequence settings, and we're going to change this to make it something we want. Okay, so I'm just going to go up here to custom, and let's say we make this 720 by 720. It'll be a, a square thing. And uh, here the preview thing is updated. And we're good to go there. Um, go back to our project. We can, we can drop our pictures in again. And we just have to size them differently to make them work. Now let's tur turn her off. We'll get him in there. And we're going to... Uh, back in effects controls, we're going to push him over here and down and maybe uh, make it a little smaller. If we just click on this little Java right here, we can move it around freely. Uh, and just for this, this is this is just uh, to show you how I would quickly do this. When, again, I'm going to crop this um, here. If I hold my control there, hello. It's not behaving very well. There we go. I'm just going to eyeball this for the center, get close to it. Okay. And again, we can uh, take a look at her. She needs to be shrunk down considerably. Okay. Not okay on her, not on him. There we go. And uh, let's put her behind him. There we go. And then we can take her and move her around till we like it. Uh, close enough. Okay. And again, we would then uh, create some text. Hi there. How are you? And this is, you know, retaining the same um, I'm going to put it right about there. And let's also create uh, the rectangle. And it's still black. Of course, we have to change the order, so the text is on top. And put this here. There, let's, uh, so we can duplicate, shrink it down, and all that stuff. Okay, and I'm going to take the text, and we're just going to shrink that down. Hello. You want to get it perfectly centered, you have controls for that. You can center it up here. There we go. And then again, just duplicate these things. Right click, hit duplicate, and then just duplicate it for the bottom. Put it on the bottom. That's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Bye now.